I'm Serena, I'm the coordinator of the Pride Center. And today we're having a fabulous event. We brought fag, the, the fag bug and Aaron Davies to campus to really educate about homophobia and hate crimes. It was eight, April 18, 2007. Somebody vandalized my car one night. I just had a long skinny rainbow sticker on the back window of my car. And I lived in Albany, New York at the time. My car was just parked in like a downtown area. I parked the car at 9 o'clock at night, came to my car the next morning to head to my job. And um, I saw that somebody had spray painted fag on my driver's side window, this big and red spray paint, and they, they wrote you are gay, like the letter U, the letter R, and gay on the whole hood of my car. And um, it's kind of a long story, but when that happened, I decided rather than take it off, um, I just feel like by taking it off, that whole process of removing it, you would internalize those feelings of shame. So I decided to externalize it, and I left it on the car. I left the graffiti on the car for a whole year. So I interviewed everyone that came up and talked to me about it for a whole year. So I did 500 in interviews, and there's 103 interviews in the movie. It was important for me, to, for people to see the graffiti, for people, a lot of people think things like that don't ever happen. And I think by driving with the graffiti, I was taking a positive action, but my car did not look positive. People saw and felt upset for me. They felt hurt for me. They felt, you know, it, uh, you know, brought out negative emotions and, you know, didn't make people smile or anything. And so I wanted to do something to celebrate um, and c continue telling the story, but I wanted the car to transform it to so, like, visually the car is very bright and colorful and it looks positive. I think it takes a very strong and special person to do that. Um, you know, it takes a lot of perspective, um, not turning towards hate and looking to see what, you know, the silver lining is and seeing how you can make it a, a better thing for everybody. And not just yourself, but like the whole community in general. I'm hoping that CSUN students will one, get educated about some of the issues that still face LGBTQ students, as well as feel empowered that, you know, all of us face obstacles, but we can make something positive around those obstacles.